Hi. Today I will uh, make my uh, attempt at uh, making a little video about cutting, which is something that I have uh, roughly around two decades of uh, personal experience with and obviously from uh, my uh, background as an artist there is uh, and has been plenty of people around me that uh, implemented this kind of behavior into their routine or has done so and um, I think uh, this is a subject that uh, deserves some kind of a deep dive because uh, many people have uh, different ideas on it and of course as most of you regardless if you have experience with it personally or have seen people just out in the world that uh, to some extent share their wounds uh, it's uh, something that can be hard for some to cope with and personally I've never found that to be the case but I think uh, there is a lot of uh, misunderstanding behind it at least that has been uh, my experience when people confront me about why I cut or why I don't cut it's a strange thing because no matter what uh, it's usually not the answer that people want to hear from you because if you look at what I have on my arm here that's another form of wound that has grown in social acceptance acceptance over the years but uh, I'm pretty sure that anyone that's from a smaller town or uh, just has enough years on them they uh, definitely know that there are some uh, preconceived notions about this kind of wounds as well and what it all comes down to from my my point of view is simply the purpose behind it does it have a purpose does it symbolize something do you uh, connect it to uh, memories a part a point of life a turning point if not why not because I know that I certainly do for every scar on the, my body I know exactly when it happened and why and I wouldn't change a single thing about it. So some of the examples that I can make on the top of my head. When uh, I considered it to be a beneficial uh, 
disciplinary action would be um, from uh, some of the many cases where I've been uh, trying to be uh, kind or um, enabling towards someone, usually a friend, and uh, instead of teaching them to take uh, personal responsibility, I have simply lent them money without uh, too much demands or requirements connected to it. And that itself is not a bad thing, but uh, from my perspective, uh, it hurts me and the friendship more than it hurts them. Because usually if, if they're not at the point of their life when they are able to learn something from their experience and just to rely on someone else to bail them out, That's not a solution. But uh, I like to believe in people, especially the people that I have uh, appointed as uh, parts of my inner circle or uh, simply a friend to uh, be trusted. Or trustworthy. I'm definitely more trustworthy than trustworthy. I hope. Yes. So uh, that's the times that stand out most from my memory where I've decided to uh, uh, cut to myself the amount of times representing the amount that people owed me and uh, that uh, definitely kept me thinking about what I could do to help them in other ways and help myself Because it's always, it always comes down to uh, what you yourself can do rather than expecting others to do it. You should never assume that someone will learn their lesson or evolve just because you are. It's your own responsibility to evolve and progress. And experiences like that had me uh, reflecting on what else I can do for myself to, uh, to not put myself into that situation where my friends were. Because not only does that help me, but it also helps them in other ways, if that will be necessary. And uh, of course we can make connections to emotional wounds and that's I think another video. And as always I'm up for questions and suggestions if you have questions about what I'm saying or talking about in this video. Let me know and I'm more than happy to try to cover it in the next video. And uh, my journey into this uh, habit started uh, in my earlier teenage years. 
and um, it has always, especially back then, been uh, connected to uh, overcoming something and uh, to learn something new about myself or to uh, create something. it's easy to uh, connect it to uh, something uh, that's not progressive that doesn't let you evolve but rather uh, stagnates and I think that's something important to try to uh, avoid because I think for most people it's um, a negative association that unfortunately many people have when they see a wound they assume that something went wrong, that something bad has happened. And uh, I guess I am one of those that exist to uh, prove you wrong. Though I don't really have anything to prove, I just have my experience and I'm more than glad to share it. Because I sincerely completely reject the stereotype of uh, a metal musician cutting just for the sake of it or I've never done it actively as some kind of entertainment and that's why I very early on made a very active decision to not implement it in anything that happens on stage. I can count definitely on one hand from uh, over a hundred concerts where it has happened on or near a stage because it's uh, mostly a part of a meditation uh, ritual for me or it used to be to uh, get in a certain mood And after that, when it was more of a bad than a good habit, I used to connect it to uh, discipline. Because if you're in a great deal of pain, you are definitely <laughs> less likely to uh, repeat your mistakes. But uh, I'm well aware that there are less destructive and uh, more socially appropriate methods of uh, self-discipline that uh, you'll most likely be less judged for. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about cutting. And um, another big aspect for me when it comes to cutting has been uh, when it uh, is connected to uh, art and painting. Because blood interacts with uh, other liquids in very interesting ways and it's been something that I've studied over a decade now and I still learn new things.
when I implement different techniques in uh, or at different stages of making a painting. Because depending on the pH or fat content of uh, another liquid that you uh, use together with the blood, it will have different results and depending on if you mix it with the blood or it's the layer before or after the blood, it all has different effects and um, that's what several of my uh, recent exhibitions in uh, Mexico has been about to show people how you can get different results by uh, mixing not only blood with different inks but also mixing wine with different inks and that's something that I keep returning to and that's one of the reasons why there are sometimes fresh scars on my body but uh, generally it's something that I uh, take a distance from because I think if you can um, find other ways to cope with your situation that doesn't uh, involve physical damage it's usually more constructive because it uh, it uh, doesn't it simply doesn't have that consequence because having healing wounds in summer or winter are very different experiences by themselves but they uh, share the pain and if that pain isn't necessary for uh, your thought prog progress and process to uh, get to the next step of where you need or want to go I think uh, a walk in the forest or a park is um, much more useful So as an ending to this first chapter or a video about this subject because I have a lot of experiences or thoughts about cutting that I'm not covering now but I'm bad at making lists about different subjects and uh, not getting distracted when I'm making a video though I will try to work on that and improve but uh, as for now I can't really think of anything useful to say that doesn't lead to rambling about other things or uh, that uh, makes longer pauses than not so what I'd like to say is that if you uh, personally feel that there is something about me as an artist uh, that uh, has this experience with cutting and pe other people who cut if, uh, if you feel that I'm uh, really missing something here because this is a pretty vast canvas here uh, I'm not going into details right now because uh, 
I'm not reaching them at the moment. But if you have requests, let me know. And if you yourself are struggling with cutting or someone else who is cutting, that's also something that uh, I could maybe uh, have a useful perspective on. If you have a story to share, if that doesn't feel too personal to share in the comments, that would be, I think, useful not only for me, but maybe for others who are watching this video as well. But that goes for uh, all of you. But if you, uh, if you're simply wondering about something connected to cutting that I'm not answering in this video, there is definitely a lot more that I could be saying. I just need uh, the right questions and I'm certain that I can provide the answers or involve a guest that will uh, have their own experience and perspective to share on the subject. So with that, I thank you all for watching. And, uh, see you next time. Take care.